How's everybody feel? Warm. Yeah, I'm happy. happy. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready everyone? There we go. Okay. That's it. That's 325 pounds of solid <laughs> muscle right there. I thought I'd be slipping. That's <laughs> I wasn't. muscle. It's resting muscle. <laughs> World Headquarters right here in Port McMurray, Alberta. Where it's always five o'clock. Five o'clock on December 12th. What are you drunk? What? Hi? No, no. Like I'm very sorry, but it is Christmas. It is Saturday. the first day of Christmas. <laughs> and my true love, the Malt Maniacs here in Fort McMurray, gave us Big Pete edition number one, 2011. <laughs> they only gave us this one though. Oh. <laughs> We're pretty excited. We're going through all of them. Uh, please enjoy us uh, getting drunk here. It's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. We're so, already drunk, but let's get drunker. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? You want to talk like right from the beginning of everything? Yes, you want please. to know it all? Mm -hmm. I want to know about Colila. Big Pete, this is the 2011. This is their very first Christmas edition. Small batch at natural cask strength. Mm -hmm. Isla blended malt scotch whiskey, a shovel full of Isla single malt oh, scotch whiskey, so including malts distilled <laughs> at Ardbeg, <gasps> Colila, Colila, Balmore, oh. Port Ellen oh. distilleries. Wow. That's a word. It's, Very nice. Yeah. So, yeah. 50, we forgot water too. <laughs> Man, there's many producers. They're what do you, what on, do you need water it. for? They're, they're on it. 57.8 percent. You don't need water for that, do you? That's huge. <laughs> Historically, we would call this whispered. <sighs> A fatted malt. Fatted malt. But with a big peak kick. <laughs> ah, but what exactly, you may ask, is a fatted malt? It is what the Scotch whiskey industry has traditionally called a marriage of malts. Such fattings often form the heart and soul of a blended Scotch whiskey, which carries the lighter tasting grain whiskey to soften matters. The bottle in your hand carries a, it's in my hand now, carries a big peaty, often called Phenolic. Should we all hold it? Yeah. The producers are saying we should all hold it. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. Beachy, oceanic, slightly ashy selection of malts from the island of Isla, from where the Lang family directors hail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Ally these lusty and robust malts selected for Big Peak with the fact that no chill filtration takes place. Very nice. A more old fashioned traditional approach, and you will detect a massive amplification of the anticipated seafaring qualities on the nose palette and finish. Lots of words. These are particularly appreciated when consumed leisurely in the same style these malts have waited for you in the cold, dark, and windswept warehouses of Isla. We're in Fort McMurray, Alberta. It's pretty cold, dark, and windswept. Yup. I am dark and mysterious. And it says everything the same on here. Christmas edition. Lovely. Let's get into oh, it. Yep. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Smells friggin' awesome. Mm, smells I very, uh, love it. Phenolic. 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 <laughs> nice. What are your thoughts? Yep, it smells like vanilla. <laughs> like, seriously, right? It's it's yep. actually like medicinally uh, band aid y. It's got like it a is. touch of iodine yeah. and like Santa scraped his knee coming down the chimney. He did. Sooty, ashy. Oh, yeah, it does smell dangerous. dangerous. Mm, I'm gonna taste it. I've already tasted it. Mm. Uh, it tastes better than it smells. This tastes so good. It tastes so good. Once you put it in your mouth, it knock your socks off. Like, here's the thing. Lots of people out there, not fans of Pete. No. Not yet. fans of. Yet. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yet. Exactly. Probably not fans of Big Pete. Heavy, peated. That cigar ash, ashtray, mm. rubbery. Yes. Inner tube. Fuck yes. No. Oh, Todd. Ash vault. You yeah, stop. Stop mm. telling me how this mm. is. <laughs> You hear those words and you go, what are they talking about? Yeah. That sounds disgusting. Yeah. And you're wrong, but that's okay. You wouldn't know unless you tried it. Good fucking luck. Yep. And you're never going to get a chance to try this. Unfortunately, this is pretty much gone forever. Mm -hmm. I used to be able to buy this at the little gas station that had a liquor store in Edmonton, uh, down around Pampa. And it was $81. 80 dollars You're kidding. One, as many as you want it. Everywhere. Wow. Now, how many did you drink? 
Oh my God. <laughs> We would buy these and guzzle them together at Christmas. Me and Adam J and Jordan and Bill and them cats, right? And we didn't know that things were rare. We were just drinking delicious big pee. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, poof, can. And then that's when we really, you know, no, this isn't the one that led us there, but all that thing for different types of whiskeys, that's what led us to researching and finding out why is this gone all of a sudden? Oh, because you got rare ass shit in there that you don't see all that often. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you weren't always a Pete fan either? No. And then what happened? Mine honestly took me a good year and a half. Yeah, to took me about two. Yeah. Yeah. Pete, yeah. not Pete. Yeah, Tattoo. A couple of rooms later, Pete turns into Pete, and Pete oh. turns into Pete. But, um, <laughs> it's, uh, no, was definitely it's Brad's like Brad's younger Pete. brother. Mm. But I appreciate it now. Mm. I'll, I'll actually reach for Pete. Before yeah. I that's cool. Yeah. I mean, that's what that happens to a lot of people, right? Yeah. Ty, I was like, Ty, uh, Ty's not into Pete, but uh, yeah. definitely you'll get there. Ty's like, I don't know, man, I just don't think it's for me. I'm like, it will be for you. Mm -hmm. I will make it my mission for One you day, to love Pete. A flip, a switch just flipped. And it was, I reached for it. I craved it. That's exactly it. what happened. It's so weird. It, 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 it consumed me. Mm -hmm. I need it. You buy it, store it. One uh, of the members of Mall Maniacs, he actually was the one that was like my mentor through my navigation to get to Pete. Yeah. And yep. that, exactly yep. that. He told me, Sean told me, he said, you will one day Shut just up. reach yep. for Pete. Yeah, it's going to snap. Yeah. And it did. Still. Anyway, it's, it's really good. I really like this one. Uh, I'm a fan. We did all of them already before. This was one of my favorites. Yep. Very, very tasty. So for me, this wasn't one of my favorites. Oh. Uh, did that this line here a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, I like it more than I did the last one. Is that right? It's what? like Pete, it just grows on you. Grew on you. It just grows on you. It really does. Like a fungus. I had a hard time drinking them. Like a fungus. <laughs> I love fungi. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm drunk. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> thought I thought that. <laughs> no, that was your outside voice. Yep. Well, anyway, Big Pete, well done. Uh, I mean, great job. I didn't even add water. I did, just to see. Very delicious both ways. Uh, I, you don't need to have water. But, you know, very nice. Well done. Cheers to the Maggie family. Yeah. Cheers. Everybody. Cheers to you, Ethan's. Merry Christmas. <laughs>